Casey here with 911 Motorsports, and in this video, we're going to be talking all about plasma tables, like this one that sits on top of a CNC machine, or this guy that is a nice little roll around, and the components that make it up, or this one over here that is a custom length one that'll hang off the side of your bench, as well as a couple of other styles that fit uh, tubs. All of our tables come with adjustable quick release clamps that make it easy to hold a straight edge or our stencils. Uh, down here, we've got a small square tub. This round one will fit round tubs as well as 55 gallon drums like here. We've got uh, the components for the kits that will make up these custom length ones as well as a small roll around conversion and a big roll around conversion that both use standard service carts. You add water to seal this uh, top tray up, add water, and then it creates a really nice cutting table. Or up to here, we've got a CNC table with our handheld table on top of it. This we'll be talking more about later on in the video. Before we go into detail about these guys behind me, we're gonna do a little history lesson on this plasma table. And as you can see, this has seen a lot of use. These slats are thoroughly destroyed, but still working. Uh, this was the original plasma table that I came out with uh, years ago. And when I came out with this, I really wanted to come out with these ones behind me, but this was a nice one size fits all, very good working table. And it lasted a long time until uh, we lost our good shipping prices on things. You guys are probably asking yourself why you need a plasma table to begin with, and I'm gonna show you. This is why I started to make plasma tables to begin with, was because when I first got my cutter and I was cutting off the edge of a table, I actually cut through, I dropped metal on the air hose here and had to install a union fitting and fix a whole bunch of these wires. Along with, ended up having to do it a second time over here too. And that is basically from cutting off the edge of a table, your part falls on the ground, your torch just happens to be right under there, you end up destroying your torch. Uh, it is possible to fix them, not super easy, but that's where a plasma table comes in handy because then you don't have to worry about things falling on the ground on top of the mess that they save too. Anyways, this, this style of table was a good table uh, with this nice clamp design that kind of slides around it. It's easy to reposition this clamp, and so you can be able to clamp just about anywhere on the table because it's round. Our new styles, those are square, rectangular, so it required a new clamp design that is adjustable. And these clamps, not only is it adjustable, but we also have a couple styles to fit different types of tables. Um, so. We're gonna go into more detail about that next. Uh, that's about it for the history lesson on these original plasma tables. And now we're gonna go and show you the new versions. This is uh, basically the new version of that older style. It's st this is still using a 55 gallon drum. And now actually I think we'll go into, we'll tell you a little bit more about these different clamps. There are two styles, edge clamp and post. The edge clamp will just clamp right over the edge of your table. And the post style will drop into your common 5 8 fixture tables, and then th this will clamp just fine. The edge clamp also comes with two additional spacers, so you can remove this eighth inch spacer. It comes with all three of these, and this you can use a combination of these three spacers to let this edge clamp work on your existing fab table too. That's one of the really key features about these two new clamp styles is these can both work on your existing fab table and they work really good on our plasma tables as well. So not only are you getting a plasma table, you're also getting a sweet clamp. Now, more detail about the tables here. We've got the round version. This will fit a 55 gallon drum. Uh, you can, this one we cut down to eight inches. For our tables, these are all water filled tables and I prefer to have at least an inch and a half of water and about a six inch air gap between the water and your cutting area. You need a decent amount of air, otherwise it's gonna be making a mess everywhere. Uh, so eight inches for these uh, 55 gallon drums is what I like. You can leave them full height and just fill it with a bunch of water 
or this will actually fit a 17 gallon Barron's wash tub as well. Or over here, this is a newer creation we came out with a year or so ago, the square tub. These, I mean, it's square versus round. To me, I like square. If I'm gonna be buying a wash tub, uh, I'll probably be buying the square one. If I'm gonna be using a 55 gallon drum, then I'll get the round one. These two styles are great for, um, if you're not gonna be plasma cutting that often, if you're new to it, uh, if you don't need a large area, uh, that's where these things come in real handy. Next up the line, we have our custom length plasma table over here. So this is essentially the crossfire table down there, but you're only getting these components. Right here, this is the full crossfire kit. The custom length comes with these right here and your hooks and gussets as well. You supply this material. That's why we call it a custom length because you make your own custom length. In this case, we chose to go 50 inches so I could be working with a full sheet and do a full four foot rip off the end with still having a little bit of room without cutting the table. Um, the other thing we did here was we did angle iron on the sides so that way our edge clamp will actually just slide right over the edge of this so we can use this to hold our plasma stencils and various other guides for cutting. The downside of these uh, custom length like this, how we have it set out over here, is you're just, you know, there's, there's nothing to catch the sparks, which isn't a big deal if you're working in a big shop, you're doing a big fab project, you don't really care about all the mess this is gonna be creating, this works good. Or you can always get creative and make a funnel for this, you can do your own water tub, anything like that. So these custom link tables are pretty cool because they don't cost a lot and you get to custom make what you want. But over here, we've got these plasma table roll around conversions. And these things are really cool because you start out with a common service cart, add our table on top of it, then you can seal up this top shelf and add water to it along with the wave break that we include lets you then be able to roll this thing around your shop and it doesn't splash the water all over the place. So that is a really nice feature along with now you have a water filled plasma cutting table that will make almost no mess and your plasma cutter can go right underneath it. So that's another really cool benefit and why we include these hooks to hold your cords and it'll also hold our plasma stencils as well. We have the small version and the large version. Uh, the small one is nice. It's, it's a, still a pretty good size cutting surface, uh, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of room in your shop. And it works good for the smaller plasma cutters because it'll fit those real easy. The big roll around will fit big plasma cutters nice. Uh, right here, we've got the components of what this kit consists of. You've got the end pieces, uh, hardware, hooks, gussets, slats, these side plates. These guys, these end pieces just bolt onto the top shelf. You weld your uh, end pieces on and that basically is what this consists of. The other thing with these roll arounds, when I'm not using these roll arounds, I like to cover up the top of this with a couple pieces of sheet metal this will prevent the water from evaporating because there's not a lot of water. It tends to evaporate pretty quick. Uh, and now I've got a work surface. So when I'm not plasma cutting, I can have a good roll around to work on. So these I really like because they're pretty quick to put together. It comes with all the stuff you need and you get yourself a really nice, easy to use plasma cutting table for a for a reasonable buy-in. These things are definitely cool. Last in the lineup of really cool plasma tables is this uh, Crossfire CNC plasma table over here. Uh, I got, actually got this plasma table so I could make the prototype of this thing. So the first thing I made with my plasma table was another plasma table. And this is kind of my new go-to all-in-one plasma cutting station. I can have my CNC cutter and also have a handheld plasma table that just sits on top of it. That's why we're at this plasma table topper. Uh, part of this crossfire table is this little uh, wing nut over here that you 
can use to easily remove your torch for doing handheld cutting and then put back in here and clamp down for CNC cutting. These little wing nut things just go on a quarter inch bolt. You still need to still need to swap your consumables out maybe depending on your torch. So that's one really cool feature of this. The other, the other cool feature of this table topper is that it actually just pulls off and we use these bolts right here to match to these slots. So when you're not using it, it just drops right on the side and then it hangs out of the way. You can do your CNC cutting or you can then just grab it and pull it back up, set it on top. If you notice here, I welded all of these slats in here because that makes it so they won't want to fall out when I'm manhandling it. Also, it's nice to set this way on here and you want to have it overhang off the edge of the water table. So if you put your torch, this is a nice little torch holder. It's this way it's not blowing in the water, splashing water everywhere. Another cool feature of this is it actually is sitting above this side rail. So you can fit a really full size sheet on this table, do your hand cutting. That's about it for this plasma table video. Make sure to watch our other videos where we go into greater detail about plasma cutters and plasma stencils as well. Well, if you like the video, make sure to like it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to add those and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.